hearts The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go It's not okay Your shirt is not I think I look cute Look what you're wearing. I'm the cameraman. That doesn't matter. It no, it don't. They look good. But they're really bright. Like, I need... No, it's not... Oh. <laughs> Wait, I... It's not that they're... No, I liked the color that they had. It just needs the umbrellas in front of them because they're too... Too bright. They're perfect. You look good. Can I see? I look good? You look great. Can I see it? Yeah! Yes! That's the light! That's the light! Alright! Knock it off! You're being rude! Hi! Hi! So, we're in quarantine, which means we can't leave our house. Let's make this a family shop. Okay. Family shop. So, we're in quarantine. We kind of decided that we're going to start doing these and, um, just, I did decide, but just like have fun doing it because I just enjoy doing these and we were watching Chopped a lot lately and so we decided that I would pick four ingredients and Claire would make something out of it. Yeah, we're going to play Chopped in our kitchen. Chase, I feel like you need a drink of this. You have no energy right now. Which is why I got that. I would give him, <laughs> I would give him his own, but we only have three left in quarantine. We can't really go and get them from GNC, so we're surviving on the few that we have. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do Chopped Home Edition. <laughs> I've seen the show Chopped. It's on Food Network, I think. Probably on Food Network. What do you think? You don't know. <laughs> they have four ingredients and they have no idea what the ingredients are. So, we are going to play that game here because I love to cook. My husband likes to make fun of me. So, we are going to pretty much just play that game here. And it's just going to be me and I'm just making like an entree. If this goes well, I might make a dessert too. So, I have no idea what is in here. So there are four ingredients. I don't know what it is and I have to make something out of these ingredients. And it has to be edible. I'm Chase. He's gonna be the host, so he's gonna play this game and be the host and make fun of me. So we'll see how this goes. Welcome Chef Clarice to the Chop Kitchen. The rules of the game are pretty simple. You will be given four mystery ingredients and you are asked to prepare a meal. Please open your basket now. Your mystery ingredients are ramen noodles, Michelob Ultra <laughs> beer, stew meat, and cucumbers. <laughs> On this edition, you have an unlimited amount of time to prepare said meal. You will also have full access to our refrigerator and our pantry. Good luck to you. Your time starts now. Okay. So I have no idea what stew meat is and it feels a little frozen still. So, <laughs> so we might have to um, figure that out. I have to thaw her up a little bit. Okay, I need your height though. Like. No help from the host. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit that out later. <laughs> no. <laughs> this isn't fun. Can you hand me that chair? I need the chair. <laughs> this is what it's like being short, five foot three in a kitchen. With a husband who is a hell of a lot taller than you are. He put stuff up here, and I can't reach him. Okay. So. Also, on the chopped kitchen, they usually don't have frozen meat. So, 
this is another tricky thing. Clarice, while you are preparing your meat, can you please give us your first thoughts on the basket ingredients? Um, I think that the frozen meat is throwing me off a little bit. Um, I would say that the cucumber is a little bit funny of an ingredient. So, but this is for an entree. So I feel like in an entree, like you can have sides and stuff. You can have sides and stuff for your entrees. So I'm thinking like, we'll do something. We might make some kind of crust. This looks like just like a piece of steak, I think, or some kind of meat of, like it looks like a slab of something. So you're gonna like cut it in like half, so it's a little bit thinner. I'm going to crust it with this and fry it in the pan. The cucumber and the beer are throwing me off though. Those are my thoughts. A crust to like meat. So I am going to, I just kind of ground up a whole bunch of this. I'm gonna throw it in this bowl with some Parmesan cheese. And then I did also take this out. This is frozen lettuce that I had. Um, I bought a bunch of fresh lettuce, but again, we're in quarantine, so we can't go anywhere all the time. So my fresh stuff, I usually just put in the freezer and then thaw. So I'm not thawed lettuce, so I don't know if it's actually gonna be good. I usually just put it in smoothies, but we'll see. So that's what I've got so far. It's still frozen. So, ooh, this is, it looks like little pieces of meat. Oh, it's like a stew meat, so it's cut in pieces. It's like little niblets, little niblets. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm gonna let, okay, I kinda know what I'm gonna do with them. So I added some olive oil <laughs> to the pan and getting it warm so then when my little pieces of meat are ready, I can put them into the warm oil because you have to put it into the hot oil. If it's not hot, then it's not going to work. I think this is not going to be good. <laughs> this is not good. See. We're gonna scrap this idea. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so we're scrapping the salad idea. I think we're gonna make like a cucumber salad instead. So maybe a cucumber salad with, like honestly, we're working with limited ingredients here, people. Limited ingredients. Ch chopped quarantine edition. Chopped quarantine, yeah, chopped quarantine edition. So, Don't forget, you also have the full pantry available. Right, I know, but the pantry doesn't have exactly what I want either. I don't know what to do with those cucumbers. <laughs> okay, I guess I know what I'm gonna do with them. Not really gonna transform them Barbecue rub, seasoning, coffee, and garlic. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on each, just for some extra flavor. So the next thing I'm doing is I found this peeler, okay? 
So I'm peeling off the outside first, and then I'm going to make like a little cool textured salad. It's not the easiest thing to use. Yeah, pretty good. You know, I don't want to overcook them because, you know, Chase and I don't like our meat overly cooked. But at the same time, you need to make sure that they are cooked enough through. I know some of them are losing their little guys, but I'm hoping that they're just going to crisp up and then we can use them as toppings. So that's what we've got so far. I'm going to add some Italian dressing to this. There you have it. Wait, get a good, we gotta get a good um, thumbnail. Okay, is it good? Cool. There you go. That's what we made today. <laughs> Out of my ingredients. Now, it's time to taste test. <laughs> that beer so wrong. Alright. Hey Chef Clarice, what do you have for us today? So today I have prepared for you a steak, little steak pieces. <laughs> little steak pieces crusted with um, ramen noodles and cheese with beer and a side salad, side cucumber salad. Let's taste it out. This is not bad. This is not that bad. This is not that bad. What do you think? The meat's rough, like really tough, but I think the issue is, is that it's just a tough cut of meat, isn't it? Cause it's supposed to be in a stew, so it's supposed to be like slow roasted. That is the challenge of stew meat. <laughs> As it is, it does tend to be quite tough. So you have to cook it a little bit slower and longer to get it to tender up. Gotcha. Well, this is my first time working with stew meat. Stew meat. I have never worked with it before. So, what do you think of everything else? I would say the cucumber salad is very good. The, the flavors work quite well together. However, your crumble pieces yeah. are a little bit big. Mm -hmm. If you would have crushed them up a little bit finer, mm -hmm. I think they would have stuck better, stuck better on the meat and covered He's it. He's not wrong. Again, he watches this show with me all the time. <laughs> this is really good though. I feel like I would make this again, like with different meat. It's just really tough. Like it's almost inedible because it's so tough. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest problem. Very tough meat. Mm -hmm. It's really tough. But I like the crust. But I do quite like the the crust on the meat, I think those flavors are mm -hmm. very nice. Yep, you get like a crunch with the meat, which I enjoy like a good crunch. And so, yeah. Also, this is our lunch. Like we didn't make lunch yet, so this is like our lunch, so worked out good. What do you think of the- the Cucumber salad is very nice. Mm -hmm. Light, refreshing. Light, it's got that acidity to it. Balance as well with the meat. Mm -hmm. And I, I 
on that being job. Well, considering you're the only competitor, um, it's kind of hard to check you. So I won? I won $10,000? Oh. What did I win? Um, you won three weeks off with your husband. Woo! <laughs> okay, that's it. So, thank you guys for watching. We're going to finish eating our dinner, lunch, lunch. We're gonna finish eating our lunch. Um, if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up. You have to do this. There you go. And subscribe. And we will be probably doing another one of these, like a dessert edition I think would be fun. What do you think? A dessert edition? Agreed. Uh -huh. I think that would be fun. I also think that maybe one of these days when we make these that Chase should do it once. See how he cooks because I literally cook every day. So if he were to make a meal, I think it would be kind of fun to watch. So comment below, let me know what you think. And see you next time. Bye.